Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Alex and today I will share with you my best tips and my favorite clothing techniques and uh, favorite pieces of clothing uh, for uh, running, cycling and any endurance activity outside in freezing temperatures. I'm going to take the camera out with me for a run. As you can tell, I'm all uh, set and ready to go out. Uh, but before that, please make sure you subscribe to my channel, you like this video at the end if you enjoy it, and leave a comment to let me know what are your favorite uh, techniques and favorite clothes for uh, winter running and uh, winter activities in general. All right, let's go out for a run. I believe today it's uh, around that minus five, minus seven Celsius here in Brussels, but the, um, the perceived temperature is actually lower. There's a bit of wind and, uh, and it's cold. I can tell you uh, I'm outside now for like 10 minutes and I can feel the cold, but I have some good techniques to share with you guys to precisely avoid being cold, uh, catching, catching a cold and uh, stay healthy. Because uh, as runners, as uh, cyclists, as triathletes, and as endurance athletes in general, we need to uh, stay healthy because that's the one condition to be able to train day after day. So, I think, yeah, the main point uh, I want to make here is about uh, layering. I believe in cold temperatures that uh, layering is key. So what is layering? Well, basically it's putting as many layers as you want, as you need, for certain temperature, for certain weather conditions, uh, one on top of the other. So as an example, I'm gonna go uh, from my head down to my feet and tell you what I wear, why and, uh, and yeah, and maybe that can help you decide what to take outside, what to wear, on my head, I have two headbands, one on top of the other. The first one, the first layer is a buff, regular buff, quite thin. And the second one is the blue headband that you can see. Uh, it's quite thick and it has that kind of uh, um, merino wool type of material inside. So that helps keeping my head warm my ears as well and uh and that works nicely sunglasses what's the reason for them well obviously first one is sunny weather so you want to have sunglasses on but also when it's windy like today i can very easily have some tears and that's not very pleasant and the sunglasses actually quite help uh avoid or at least reduce that uh, that's for the head going down uh, around my neck here also two layers first one a regular buff just as for the head and second one uh, another buff but this one is quite thick um, yeah I don't know the, the material I think it's like polyester maybe but very thick second buff and that is just perfect to have uh, my neck warm and for me personally uh, the neck is maybe the most important part of the body to keep uh, warm I can very easily 
uh, catch a, you know, catch a cold and uh, have my uh, my throat not so happy uh, in that situation. So yeah, for me, keeping the neck warm is uh, is very important to have that that throat uh, healthy and uh, avoid any coughing situation. Then the upper body, same here, very important. Uh, I am wearing three layers today. The first one, the base layer, maybe the most important one, is uh, that long sleeve t-shirt uh, from X-Bionic. Very snug fitted, so it's like literally a second skin. But that's perfect because, you know, it helps uh, it helps me basically keep your core temperature as high as possible for as long as possible. And that's perfect. I quite enjoy it. I have it for a very long time now, like three years maybe. And it works very well for me. I highly recommend it. On top of that, I have a regular t-shirt, short sleeved, you know, like a race t-shirt, nothing too fancy. And on top of that, I have this windbreaker, Salomon Bonatti. I can only recommend this, this uh, windbreaker. It's fantastic. It's uh, durable, keeps you uh, warm. When it's raining, you do not get wet uh, underneath. And, uh, and yeah, so Salomon Bonatti, highly recommended. It's uh, it's not cheap, but uh, yeah, worth every penny you put in it. Lower body, I have some uh, long tights by uh, Skins. I think the brand does not exist anymore, fortunately. But uh, same as for the upper body, snug fitted, and it helps having my uh, legs warm. And I actually must say that I. Uh, quite rarely wear uh, those tights and any tights in general. I prefer shorts, even when it's like zero to five Celsius. I'm uh, mostly uh, running in shorts, but uh, yeah, below zero. And when the the cold is dry like today, I need that uh, extra length to keep me warm and to keep me healthy socks that's an important one uh, my favorite winter socks is the winter socks <laughs> that's literally the name by x socks merino wool very thick uh, actually in some shoes you may even want to go a half size up but you, you don't want to do that just because of socks but that just to say how uh, thick they are. They work very well for me. Any X socks in general, that's my uh, brand of choice when it comes to socks. Uh, I also like others, but X socks works very well. They're durable and uh, their winter socks are really great for those, those weather conditions. And on my feet, I have today the Nike uh, React Infinity 2s giving the, the shoes a uh, second chance well not a second but it's my third run uh, with them and uh, yeah I think my opinion is not going to change that much and I almost forgot the most important thing the one gloves guys uh, same as for the rest of the body I have two layers on my hands today the first one a very thin uh, glove. I could wear it as a standalone pair of gloves in like, you know, spring or autumn conditions, 10, eight Celsius. Uh, but today it's my first layer. And then on top of them, I have those very thick, uh, literally winter like ski uh, gloves. Um, and yeah, otherwise I, I get my hand really cold very quickly. And uh, then it's hurting 
and then I'm like not enjoying my run that much if I need to focus on <laughs> surviving basically in terms of hand temperature. <laughs> Some other tips that I want to share with you for running in cold temperatures. Uh, you may want to have a lipstick with you because your lips may go uh, dry and uh, basically may, may freeze. Uh, so you may want to have a lipstick to hydrate your lips with you. Uh, obviously another tip would be if possible do not stop. And if you stop, do that very quickly and resume your running or cycling or whatever you're doing outside fairly quickly to avoid, you know, uh, cooling down. And then if you have uh, sweated a bit, uh, you're just increasing your chances of getting sick. And that's obviously not what you want. And then third and uh, Last tip, once you've made it home, just get rid of all your clothes, get a hot shower, get a hot drink. That works very well for me. Avoid, you know, uh, staying in the, in the sort of clothes you've sweated in outside. Another tip, may sound a bit silly, but me personally, that's what I do. When it's really cold outside, I avoid getting too much away from my place, from my home. I try to stay within that, you know, reasonable one to two to K uh, distance from my place. So in case I feel I'm getting cold, I can quickly wrap up and, and uh, make my way back home in a decent amount of time. I don't know, maybe it's useful for you. Uh, if it is, let me know. But uh, yeah, I've enjoyed doing this video outside. Now, let's go back to the home gym. And here I am back from my run. I hope you enjoyed all the footage and all the tips, techniques, and all that good stuff that I shared with you uh, while running. If, if so, please, um, you know, don't forget to, to like the video, uh, leave a comment if you wanna share with me some, some good tips and uh, techniques that you have. Um, and yeah, subscribe to the channel because uh, the next video that's coming is the review of the Nike Invincible. The review will drop, I think, on Wednesday. So stay tuned for that and subscribe if you want to be informed and notified in due time. In the meantime, I wish you all good runs, good rides, good swims. And um, yeah, take care. See you in the next one. Bye-bye.